going on guys and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to take this time to talk about a hero coming to this roster in Marvel's Avengers that is safe to say has a lot of people anticipated for, excited for, and when I say people, I mean even the people that don't even have this game yet because they just prefer to speculate the situation and basically just see all the complaints and they kind of still like 50-50 and just don't have the game purely because of these bad reviews. But let's be honest, this character, the character I'm talking about is Spider-Man. We haven't seen an official reveal for him yet. We know he's confirmed officially, but we haven't even seen a trailer for him. So we have no idea how this character is going to look in that perspective. But if you have to be honest, it's one of those DLC characters alongside Black Panther as far as ones that have been confirmed for the DLC list that people are just really excited to see how they're going to go down, right? So in this video, we're going to be talking about this character in terms of the character's appearance, the movements, the customization, and most importantly, the DLC content. So we're talking new areas and so forth. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about. As always, go ahead, crush that like button. Let's try and get nine likes. Go ahead and click that big red subscribe button below if you haven't already. And it's a cool thing to do. But what I want you guys to do right now is get in the comments below and be completely honest and let me know what your expectations are for this Spider-Man DLC. Be brutally honest with me right now in the comments below. So first of all, I think it's safe to say that this DLC character and DLC as a whole, right, is going to really rock this game a lot. And like I said, I really hope it's going to be in a good way. But don't forget, I feel like because we have a Spider-Man game now as well, two Spider-Man games, I feel like there's still going to be a lot of shade thrown at this version or Crystal Dynamics version of Spider-Man in this game, purely because people are able to compare this to another game that has that character well, hero, right, as a whole and a whole dedicated game. So I feel like that's the first thing. And second of all, that's where people's expectations are going to be a lot higher than they probably should be. But what is interesting, we've been talking about a few things, right? First of all, also to take into consideration, which is a great bit of information, because we know that DLC characters are not just DLC characters in the sense of we're not going to still have the same things we have in the game right now and just be able to do it as being Spider-Man or as being Black Panther or whoever it may be. Like these characters will be coming with a story, right? As far as we've been made aware as of right now when I'm recording a video, this is what is out there, right? Every DLC character is coming with new content. It's not just the DLC character. The great thing is, of course, it's free the I guess disadvantage and the con of this all is that it's a PlayStation exclusive but I guess it doesn't really matter too much in I guess well no it probably does matter it does matter a lot right exclusives suck in that perspective but you know what I mean okay because of course the Sony and the Crystal Dynamics deal and the exclusivity and all the money involved and all of that yeah I guess it just makes sense plus right now PlayStation needs to make the money back on this game We've been talking about this for the last couple of days, right, especially since those figures were out, that we know next gen is really their time to revive the game, officially relaunch it. We know, at least when I say we know, I mean it's kind of like a theory that I've had in my head that they're just going to release the next gen version with Spider-Man, but we'll see how that goes down. But here's the thing, right, when we come down to character movements in this game, the only character I feel like we can probably get a rough idea and vision for how it's going to go down or when I say how Spider-Man is going to go down in terms of movement it's probably Black Widow right in terms of flexibility and of course the zip line and all that kind of stuff that's well not zip line and grappling hook right that's what I feel is going to be kind of like on a, on a similar sort of scale or level right but what should be taken into consideration, which is a really, really interesting point, is that all the character combat designs and what be it are really good in this game because the person who worked on them, of course, worked on God of War, right? So it's not just like some random dude coming into a studio, right? I mean, this person who's done the combat design in this game has a really, really good track record. And I think that's super key. In fact, that's major key, right? That this is well this person is a part of the team because without them it could have gone really really south but let's put that stuff aside okay movement probably going to be on par with black widow if not hopefully better right but i think in terms of expectations for that i wouldn't say set them too high because it's not going to be near nowhere near as uh close as insomniac's version of movement 
Definitely not. I mean, I'd be very, very, very surprised if it was, but I don't think that's going to be the case. But the second thing I want to talk about regarding this character is a pretty important thing to me. And it's because this character web swings, right? This is like a big thing for Spider-Man. Otherwise... I, ju I guess it just wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be a different type of character. So, web swinging in this game is a key thing. Now, when we come down to talk about maps as well, are we going to be getting new locations? Now, this is where we open this door of opportunities for this game. So, one thing we know is that the city kind of versions that we have right now for this game are very, very, very bland. And other than that, there's only a few of them as well to take into consideration. Other than that, everything is more or less give or take indoor, right? At least the decent missions that are not like dramatically long. But in terms of like outdoor areas, there's not a whole bunch. And plus, you don't really just want outdoor areas all the time that are like in a forest. You want to be in like in a city, right? So I genuinely think when Spider-Man is released, in terms of new locations that are going to be coming down and when I say new locations, another way to probably visualize that is, I guess, like a playground for this character, right? This is like the big cool thing, that locations for Spider-Man are essentially playgrounds because he web swings, he's quick, he's fast, and you need to have the right map for that. So I think, honestly, we're going to be getting, and again, I could be completely wrong, but from a fan perspective, this is what I would like. So I would like there to be a much bigger city map right even the one we have now if they can just extend that because you want this character to be able to swing wherever you possibly can but also i mean the ceiling probably won't be a problem whatsoever but you don't want to be restricted as spider-man okay so that's the first thing so combat black widow uh more or less on par with that web swinging locations more city locations now going on to the next thing i want to talk about which is customization for this character this is a big thing because one thing that I feel like it's safe to say majority of us have seen like all over the internet, like plastered everywhere, right? Is people wanting the MCU suits. And this is such a big thing. Like I feel sometimes a, ga a game could be like in really, really bad condition, like content wise and like I guess longevity maybe. But like as long as you get certain suits for a character when it comes down to customization options, people are happy. Now, this is where. It gets a little bit more complicated, right? Of course, they've got the license deal for, for Spider-Man, but in terms of like costumes like MCU suits and all the other suits, they still need to get licensed for that. As far as I'm aware, like until they don't have that, I'm going to assume they've got majority, but I don't know because they've not really said a whole bunch on that, right? So with customization, and again, going on the basis that we already have characters in there that do get kind of reskins as well, I feel like it's going to be a situation with with Spider-Man, but it could be in a situation where we get the normal Spider-Man suit and they reskin that literally to like an all white color or an all black color or whatever it may be. That wouldn't be so bad being Spider-Man, that would actually kind of work out well. But I don't feel like we're gonna get a whole bunch of that in terms of customization when it comes down to skins. Now, there's a whole bunch of different things you can go down with, but the reason why I wanted to make this video is because it's a character we're all excited for. But I feel like it's a character that a lot of people have high expectations for. So to recap everything I've said in this video is that the movement of this player, this hero, and you as a, as a game player, right? It's not going to be anywhere near the level of Insomniacs, but it's still going to be fun. But the closest character to compare it to is going to be Black Widow easily without a doubt. Locations need to be there, so we need more city locations for this character to web swing around. Photo mode is a big thing in this game, so you want to be able to get some cool shots. And then lastly, customization, I genuinely think we're just going to have the same skins, but it's going to be re reskinned to just different colors. I genuinely think that's going to be a situation. But ultimately, I can't say anything because we haven't even seen it in the trailer, but I just wanted to get that off my chest, so leave your thoughts on this in the comments below. But that's going to wrap up this video here. So I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day. And until the next one, adios amigos.